going to do a short, kind of more energetic practice this morning than I usually do <laughs> um, in my in these videos. So um, we're going to just get started with a short kind of grounding um, breathing exercise and then get into some movement. So if you want to take a seat and just find a comfortable seated position that works for you, could be cross-legged, you could have your legs out in front if that works better for you. So coming into that seated position, you can be on a blanket if you like. So we're just going to kind of come here, arrive uh, into our space this morning together um, or whenever you're watching this video. Um, I also wanted to uh, just put it out there. I have a little essential oil here. It's um, in this one. It's lavender oil um, mixed with a little uh, coconut base that you can just kind of rub onto wrist or onto the neck, wherever, uh, whatever works for you. And it can bring lavenders a relaxing scent. So if you're feeling anxious, um, a lot of times I, I can get anxious easily um, like if I'm going to a meeting or something so just having that nearby me and just kind of having it on my wrists gives me that nice kind of calm feeling um, and there are lots of different types of oils if you need more energetic kind of one oil peppermint is good um, or citrus any citrus uh, scents so just a, a suggestion um, if you are interested in in kind of trying some oils so let's come here, maybe placing your hands onto your thighs and letting your shoulders relax down your back. <sighs> Just take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Maybe sigh it out or just breathe it out, let it go. Taking a moment to tap into how you're feeling physically, mentally. Let's slowly bring our hands through to a heart center. Interlace your fingers and then press away through the palms, round through the spine. Press it out. Let the head relax. And then slowly maybe bring the arms up overhead and still pressing the palms out if you can. If not, then you can always separate the fingers and just press up, but just kind of reaching up and relaxing through the shoulders if you can. And then slowly bring this right hand, fingers down to your mat. Maybe make a little, little kind of tent with the fingertips onto the mat. Lift up through the left arm. And then just slowly rock over to the right. Breathe in here. See if you can feel the left ribs expand as you breathe. And exhale it out. Beautiful, come on back up through center, lower the left fingers down to your mat. Lift up through the right arm, over and up to the left. Again, tenting those left fingertips perhaps and reaching over. Beautiful. Come on back up through center and then let's slowly transition ourselves. We'll first do our our cat cow poses. Um, if you're familiar with yoga, you're probably used to doing these as a as a an opener, as a stretching pose. So starting to uh, kind of release the spine a little bit here. So hands are underneath the shoulders. Flat back as much as you can, and we're going to lift through the tailbone, drop the belly, and lift the gaze up. And then as we round in, 
We call this our cat pose. Think of a Halloween cat rounding the spine. And then we'll transition back to our cow pose. And then just move back and forth here for a couple more breaths. And again, everybody has their own pace for cat-cow, so if you like to take it nice and slow, please feel free to kind of pause in either cat or cow. And always remember, this is your practice. So if you don't want to do some of the poses or you need to take them at a different pace, always know that that is an option. One more round here of cat-cow. Beautiful work, everybody. So let's take the hands a little bit further forward on the mat. And we're going to step the right foot back, start to engage through that right foot, really press back through the heel, and start to engage through the belly. So squeeze the belly in towards the spine, and then possibly reach that left foot back to meet the right. So if this is not working for you, feel free to just lower the knees down to your mat. So it's totally up to you. You can do full plank or come down to the knees and do supported plank. So we're just going to hold here for another breath. Sorry if you have been holding for, <laughs> for a little while here. So come into plank. Lower, everybody lower to your knees if you're not there. Take your knees wide on your mat. Bring your big toes back to touch, and then sit your hips back to your heels, and just let it go. Release and relax. We're going to slowly bring ourselves back up. Same thing, so you can bring your knees back together if you like. We'll step the right foot back. Step the left foot back, bringing you back up to plank, and make sure that your shoulders are on top of your wrists here and squeezing in through the belly. Come down to your knees if you need to. One more breath. Bring the knees back down to your mat, spread them wide, bring your big toes to touch, and then sit your hips back towards your heels and take a rest. And we'll slowly bring ourselves back up to our tabletop position. Hands are back underneath of the shoulders. Toes are tucked underneath here. And then we're going to slowly start to lift the knees up off of our mat. And then lift the hips up and back. Press the heels down towards your mat. Coming into downward facing dog. So you can kind of lift up on the heels, press down. Take any movement that you need here. So really stretching through the back and the shoulders. One more breath here in our downward facing dog. We're going to slowly start to walk forward to our hands. Got my blanket there. So coming into this forward fold position, so knees don't have to be, you know, or legs don't have to be totally straight here. Knees can be a little bit bent. And we're just going to fold ourselves over so that the crown of the head 
makes its way down towards the mat. And we're breathing. And we're going to slowly start to roll up the spine, nice and slow. Ah, and we get to standing pose. We will bring our feet about hip width distance apart, bring the arms to the sides. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And then slowly fold from the hips and come on back down, forward fold, release. So from our forward fold, we're gonna step our right foot back to the back of the mat. And then just lower that right knee down, coming into a little lunge here. So you're letting your hips just kind of sink down. And then we'll curl the back toes under, lift up on that right knee. And then just step that right foot forward. Take as many steps as you need to get it there. And then we'll take the left foot, step it back. Let the knee come down to your mat. And let the hips, hips sink in here. Beautiful. And then just take your left knee, bring it back to join the right knee, coming back into your tabletop position. Let's close it out with a couple rounds of cat cow here. Just releasing through the spine. Beautiful. And then just let your hips sit back to your heels and then come on back into a seated position and we'll close out our practice together this morning, hopefully feeling a little more energized for your day. Maybe take your hands and just kind of shake them out. Shake, shake, shake. Bring your hands through to your heart center. So I'm grateful to all of you for joining me today for this practice. And I wish you peace and joy in your lives. The light in me honors and sees the light in you. Namaste.